All right, area and perimeter. So we talked about on Friday, the area of a rectangle and a square equals base times height, and then the perimeter of a rectangle or square equals add all sides. We're gonna add a parallelogram to that. And a parallelogram, if you wanna put this in your notes, you can. So instead of writing them out, oh, that's a bad drawing, but you get the idea. A parallelogram looks like this down here. The definition of a parallelogram is that it has two sets of parallel sides, okay? And parallel, something we'll talk about soon, is like railroad tracks. So if you put your arms like this, that means they'll never touch each other for as long as they go in both directions, okay? So this side right here, the one that has the one dash, and this one down here, those sides are parallel. So if they went forever in both directions, this way, to the right, and to the left, they'll never intersect, they'll never cross each other. Okay, that's parallel. So that's the first set of parallel sides. The other one is over here. If this side and this side went together, or went forever in both directions, they'll never touch. So a parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides. One here and one here, okay? The area of a parallelogram is still base times height, and we'll walk through why uh, when we get down to that one. And then the perimeter of a parallelogram is still, you're gonna add all of your sides. So if you wanna draw those little parallelograms in there, go ahead and do that. So quickly to review what we did on Friday, we have a rectangle here. So the area, 12 times four is 48. And then remember, feet times feet is feet what? No, not cubed, twice, squared. squared. So we need to put feet squared. And then our perimeter, we need to add all sides. And we talked about also on Friday that these dashes mean that this bottom, uh, our base here, is congruent to this top one. And then our sides, since they have two dashes, those are also congruent to each other, which means they're exactly the same length. So if this is 12 feet, then this is 12 feet. And if this side is four feet, and this side is four feet. So we need to go through and add those together. So I have 12 plus 12 is 24, and then four plus four is eight. So we can add both of those together to get 32 feet. And this one is not squared, it's just feet. Think about walking. If you were to start in this corner down here and walk 12 feet and then four feet and then 12 feet and then four feet, okay, you're not walking feet squared, you're just walking 32 feet. Okay, and also on Friday we talked about this little word rim inside perimeter and I drew a beautiful basketball hoop for you guys, right? You guys remember this? It was beautiful, right? So that's my beautiful basketball hoop and we talked about rim going around the basketball hoop, which means your perimeter goes around whatever shape you're finding the perimeter of. Okay, so that's a good way to remember it. If you could remember rim in basketball, uh, that it goes around the hoop, then you can remember perimeter always goes around. Okay? Down here, we have five inches, but I have one dash on every single one of these sides, which we talked about since all those dashes are the same, they're all congruent, which means all of these are five inches. So our area, base times height, so five times five is 25 and then inches times inches is inches squared. And then our perimeter, we add all of our sides, so five plus five plus five plus five is 20 inches. Questions so far? That's kind of a review of Friday. The next one, go ahead and draw this in. So here's our parallelogram. We're gonna follow the same formula, so for area, it's still base times height. And for perimeter, it's still at all of the size. It's just a little bit different. So on this parallelogram, I have three measurements. You need to know the difference between all three of them, okay? In a parallelogram, you're always gonna see a dotted line. In this case, my dotted line's right here. Sometimes you might see it on this side Sometimes you'll see it on the outside or the outside over here. The dotted line is your height, okay? When we do base times height, your base is always the bottom and your height 
is always the one that sticks straight up or perpendicular, which means they touch. Which means they cross and make a right angle, a 90 degree angle, which we'll talk about as well. Okay, so this dotted line is your height. Now they're not dotted in your rectangles and your squares because it just happens to be your height is also one of your sides. In a parallelogram, that's not the case. Okay, the side is over here and over here, but your height is kind of inside it. Okay, so you're going from the top, the highest point possible on your parallelogram straight down. That's the height. Okay, it's not fair if you lean sideways and measure your height that way, right? You have to be standing straight up to measure your height. Same with the parallelogram. So if you need to put in your notes, point to the dotted line and write height, make sure you do that. Okay, so we have three measurements. We have our base, which is 12, and we have our height. Then we also have a side measurement over here, which we're gonna need for our perimeter. So for area, who can raise your hand and tell me which two we're gonna multiply together for base and height? Taylor Day? Which one's the height then? Tell me the measurement. Perfect. So go ahead on your paper. Let's do this together. And we're gonna do 12 times 6.2. So two times two, two times one, placeholder, six times two, carry the one, six times one, plus one, good. And then add these for me, perfect. And then remember when we multiply, we count our decimal. So we have zero to the right of the decimal here. We have one to the right of the decimal here. So all together we need to have one to the right of the decimal. So our area is 74 and 4 tenths meters squared. Because we have to do the m times m, so we get m squared. And then our perimeter. So we need to add all of the sides, but be careful. Your sides are here, so that's 12. And then going this way is 8. And then going this way is what? 12, and then going this way is 8. eight. So do we use the 6.2? Do we use the height in our perimeter? No. no. So we're going to do 12 plus 12 is what? 24. And then we have 8 on this side, so we have 8 on this side. What's 8 plus 8? 16. So if we add these together, we get 10, and then carry the 1, and we get 40 meters is our perimeter. Questions on the difference between the height and the side of your parallelogram? Perfect. Let's go ahead and I'll have you guys work on this page on your own. So go ahead and draw um, these to the best of your ability in your notebooks and work on these and then we'll go through them in about seven minutes.